So we're going through the same uh, three hip openers we can use in a dynamic fashion. Now we're using them in more of a static or passive fashion. So we're simply going into the position and holding the stretch. Same key is going to apply. We always want to make sure we're not driving movement through the lower back. So as I move into the hip flexor stretch, the first thing is a little reverse pelvic tuck. That'll keep it in the hip. And then as I move forward, I go up with the arms. So make sure we're not driving through the spine. Keep it all in the hip. We're looking at the rotation. We're going to go ahead and take the leg, kick it out. The angle is dependent on your range of motion. The guideline is your knee is not allowed to get pulled inside the width of your ankle. So if I'm out too wide and I have tightness, as I shift, my knee is going to get pulled to the inside. So I want to make sure at all times that knee is angling towards the little toe. And I'm going to initiate the movement through my torso first and think that way. I'm moving my sternum, not simply moving the arms. So move the sternum and then shift and hold position. And then the last one, first thing you want to do is find as much width as possible. Then kick the foot out. You want the foot flat and square. And then gently sit back and hang out here. Now, all these can be done without a foam roller. So feel free to use it or not use it. Just depends on what you have available.